We're here today at uh, Marina's Cafe in Northeast Portland, and I'm going to enjoy my uh, dessert and coffee while I allow Michael Mayo to speak. So I'll go ahead and do that. Here we are then, discussing the broadest, most comprehensive problem in our society, and it is war. The United States has been at war constantly since 1950. You know it and I know it. And in none of those many conflicts, 20 of them, 25, has war been declared by Congress. We are unconstitutionally, and you know it, potential voter, we are unconstitutionally in the hands of a militarist clique in the United States. Just as we complained that Japan was ruled by a clique of militarists, the United States is, is warring against half a dozen countries simultaneously and claiming to be spreading freedom. We are the greatest purveyor of violence in the world today, as Martin Luther King said 40 years ago. How can we possibly then as a Green Party candidate, how can I possibly say that we're going to make any progress against this impinging war, against, against uh, the fact that there are accidents happening like uh, ambulances passing? No, the reason is, let me take the arguments one by one. We are told that war is part of human nature, and I quite agree that we are aggressive. In fact, anthropologists and students of biology have shown that those animals, and we are animals, those animals that have the greatest degree of affection within the family are those animals that then show aggression toward people who are not part of the family. So I agree that it's human nature to have aggression, and I don't expect violent conflict to be, to be uh, uh, omitted or eliminated, no matter how many speeches, no matter how many uh, uh, prediga, no matter how many um, prediga, uh, no matter how many, oh, here we go again, I'm, 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 I'm stuck on some foreign language word, um, preaches, no, what, do you, what does a preacher do? He, he, he gives sermons, yes, that's the word, sermon is the definition of prediga. Uh, no matter, see, we have to obviously edit that, no matter how many sermons that we give, I don't expect that war to be, to be eliminated. We have the option in the United States, as political actors, to stop American imperialism. That's what we can do. We can withdraw from foreign military bases. Can we then stop from being invaded? I want to remind you, uh, potential voter, you have been subjected to a campaign of fear. You are told somebody, the communists, the terrorists, the Arabs, and who knows what else, the Cubans, the Guatemalans, they're always selling you the politics of fear. And out of that, they then uh, profit by you giving them power and options. You have to realize you should accept you're a member of the human race. You will have to accept that other countries are not lying in bed at night trying to invade the United States. They don't care about the United States all that much. Cuba's happy to have Cuba. Mexico's perfectly willing to live within the boundaries of Mexico. There's nobody sitting there trying to invade the United States. And that is the reason for the army. We have an army to prevent invasion of the United States. Let's use it for that purpose. Let's eliminate right away all foreign military bases. I would expect that the three million military personnel would wish to have some period of adjustment. It's like when we stopped cutting down the forests in Oregon. We had a problem in adjusting. We still have that problem. There's counties in southern Oregon that are bankrupt because they can't get the money from cutting down trees on government land any longer. 
in the same way. There will be a period of adjustment when the soldiers and sailors of the United States have been let go. We will have to retrain, we will have to provide them with semi-useful uh, 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 means of adjusting into civilian life. That is what we can do. The United States must accept the fact that it is a mar part of a comedy of nations. It is not the United States' job to rule the world. In fact, in fact, it's incredible what the present mentality of the United States is, where the Bush administration started it and the Obama administration is continuing it, we are supposed to dominate the world militarily forever. That's impossible. It's been tried before, many times. It doesn't work. The world, one world, has so many different cultures and so many different peoples that any effort to dominate it is, comes a cropper. There's uh, the empire ends. In the same way, the United States will be crushed by the other parties in the world if we continue to think that we can dominate them militarily. We had, I put it in the past tense intentionally, we had the ability to dominate the world through soft power if we had continued to expect other people to uh, see us as an example of liberal, humane values. That's what we can offer. Yeah. That's it. I usually...